Hi girls, I'm here today to give you a quick tutorial on how to make these decorative napkins laminated. Now, these are a very interesting feeling. They're kind of slippery on one side and then obviously the other side has the napkin. So the possibilities are endless with any type of napkin that you choose. They easily can be cut and altered. Um, they don't like come unraveled. And it's so much fun and so easy that once you do it, you are going to go nuts. So the key is, is that you need, if you're familiar with laminating, you need these type of laminating packets, which are matte. So it's not the typical glossy ones that you see all the time. You can order these on Amazon. I'll have a link below, but this is the matte. And that's what makes the difference in this process. So you need two napkins. You need one of the laminating packs and you need two sheets of like Xerox paper because it should be thin. Now most of the napkins have two layers on them. So what you do is you obviously take off the first layer and some people I know even say these layers, I don't know, for clean up, but I, I just don't. The second layer is, um, it's always more difficult I find when you're trying to do it from the corner but if you do it from the side of the napkin, you can usually get it done easier. And then again, you're just careful as you're pulling it off. So now you just have literally the print only. So you take your laminate packet, you open it up, you put one napkin, however you want to have that part be glossed. And I'm pressing it just to make it a little flat. Put on one side with the print facing outward. I take my two sheets of Xerox paper and I lay it on top. And then I take my other one, because you get two, because you're only laminating one side. Close that up, press it down. Now, obviously, napkins come in all shapes and sizes. So I just trim it so obviously the napkin won't get caught in the laminator. So it's just basically like this, as you can see. I just put it in the laminator. And when it comes out, you can see it's already starting to come apart because that's what those two white sheets are. So you just take your scissors and just roughly cut it so you can get them separated. Slide it apart. Just take it, here's the side, it's slightly pull on that, it comes right off, and there you have it. So I hope you do it, if you do, please share it, I'd love to see them, thank you.